quilters welcome back to my channel pages and stitches that's spelled pages the number three stitches both here and on instagram my name is kelly and i'm very very excited to bring you my quilters corner number 27 this is my january update and i've got a lot of cool stuff fun stuff to share with you guys so thank you for being here today is february 7th i believe wednesday february 7th and um, so I'm a little delayed, sorry about that. I do have a busy schedule, so this was the, the soonest I had um, a time slot to fit in getting this video filmed. But here we are, we got it done. <laughs> First and foremost, I just wanna say thank you to everybody who's here who um, is a returning viewer who likes to talk shop with me about quilting and um, gives me ideas and we bounce back and forth with inspiration in the comments and on Instagram. I just appreciate your friendship so much. I love talking quilting. So the fact that you guys are here and you talk quilting with me all the time just makes me so happy. It gives me so much joy. So thank you so much for coming back. And then if you are a new viewer, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking it out. Um, if you have found your way here for my floss tubes, Welcome, this one, this is a similar style video. It's just all about quilting. And if you have not found your way here from floss tubes, but you like cross stitching, go check out my floss tubes. I've got the same kind of content, but it's about cross stitching. Uh, that video has been posted right before this. So it's already there for you to view if you are interested. So like I said, I've got a lot of cool stuff to share with you. Of course, we have giveaway winners to announce. So stick around, I will, I will announce those after we go through the whip updates. I've got three giveaway winners to announce from the last video. And I've got some really great progress on my whips, some kindness from a friend to share with you. Just, it was a good month, I think, for quilting. <laughs> so stick around for the giveaway winners and um, we'll go over that towards the end of the video. So as per usual, we want to start out the video here with our reading update. Uh, if you are unfamiliar, the pages of pages and stitches is representative of my third passion, which is reading. And so uh, I like to do a quick little reading update of all the books I've read the last month right here at the beginning of the video. If you've watched my floss tubes, you know you can skip past this part because it's the same books. But here we go. Let's go over what I read. First, I started with The Goal by Elle Kennedy. This is number four in her off-campus series. Then I followed that up with The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. This is the first book in this series, which is The Dreamland Billionaires. And then lastly, I polished the month off with this big bad boy. This is House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J. Mass. She is one of my absolute favorite authors of all time. And uh, I gobbled this book up all 800 plus pages of it. So good. Okay, so let's get into the actual quilting, right? That's what we want to see. <laughs> so as you can see on my design wall, I no longer have my set cell quilt up there because I finished the quilt top. Glory hallelujah, right? Um, I finished the quilt top. I put that together. I will insert a picture of what it looks like so you can see. It is currently um, folded up with the backing fabric that I purchased for it. Um, and ready to go to my long armor. I've got an appointment with her next month. So we'll be taking this to get quilted. So here it is all folded up on the hanger. I just wanna show you the backing fabric that I got, which is this right here. Let me bring it in closer. So it's a diamond pattern on a navy with little metallic gold dots in the middle. I knew I wanted a dark background and I knew I wanted fabric that was Melody Miller. I did this entire quilt top out of the Rise line from Melody Miller, which she released like two plus years ago. So unfortunately it's no longer available, but I knew I wanted a Melody Miller fabric for the backing. I don't remember off the top of my head what this is called, but um, I'll look it up and insert it on the screen. But I just thought it was perfect because I knew I wanted a dark background and it's also that, that diamond pattern that reflects the pattern of the, the fabrics on the front. And it's got gold in it and you know I can't pass up anything shiny, I'm like a raccoon. So it's all folded up and ready to go. And the next time you see it, it will be a finish, but probably, probably not for a couple months because my, my appointment is in March. So we gotta get through February 1st. And before I forget, here's the set sail pattern. It is by Jaybird Quilts. I will have it linked down below. I'll have everything I mention humanly possible that I can link down below, link down below. Um, and I altered the pattern a little bit 
because as you can see, the diamonds are in different kind of orientations and styles. I just did one big, the big solid diamond to feature the large prints from the Rise line. And now it's done. It was really easy. It was super easy. As long as you um, have a ruler that can help you cut 60 degree angles, you're kosher, baby. And you can actually get, this tells you which ruler it recommends, which is the super sidekick ruler. Um, but like I said, any ruler that can cut a 60 degree angle, if, even if you don't have a ruler that can cut 60 degree angles, your cutting mat should have a 60 degree line on it. So you can do it the old fashioned way. You don't need to spend money on a fancy ruler unless you want to. Okay, so currently I have three of my whips up here on the wall and they all fit quite nicely right now, but next month it'll just probably be one of them because now they, they don't fit nicely. <laughs> um, let's start with Stars Hollow. So this is Stars Hollow by the Missouri Star Quilt Company. And my version here, I am stitching with the Moonlit Garden line for Andover, designed by Patty Sloniger, Sloniger? I don't know how you say her name. Patty, she designed it. <laughs> um, and then the backing, or the background, excuse me, fabric is just a peachy and cream dot that I got from Joann's. So the last time you saw this, I just had um, eight of the blocks done. I've managed to do four more. There's 20 total. So now I've got 12, I got eight more to do. So let me show you which four I did. So here is the first one. And this one's kind of cool because this is like the darkest print that came in that um, layer cake. This is all done with layer cakes, with a layer cake, excuse me. And then we got the minty kind of floral stripe looking print there in the middle. The next block is this one here. So we've seen this pattern, or sorry, this fabric before. It's on that block, but it has a different accent fabric. Looks very nice together. Love it. And then we've got this block here. So this is actually the similar print to the accent fabric that was on the last block, but this one's got the pink leaves instead of the green. It looks very nice with the pink flowers on this one. I just love the way you can mix and match and they're all winners. Everything just slams. It's so good. Love it. And then that last block that I worked on was this one here. This beauty. So I think I've, officially gone through the whole line like I don't think there's any more fabrics that you haven't seen yet um, in the future blocks but they're I've made sure that they're all different like there's no two sets that are the same fabrics if that makes sense so yeah that is my current progress on this one you can start to see how it's going to come together we've got two there's it's four by three at the moment but it's going to be four by five when I'm done. So there's two more rows that'll go up here. And then there is a border that is gonna be this print here with the, the dark green print with the moths. And then I'll be done. So we'll see how much I get done next month. So far I've been doing four blocks a month. If I have the time, I'll do more. I, I do have a vacation coming up at the end of the month. So I might have a little bit more time to finish that so that would be cool i don't have a backing for it yet but i need to hurry up and jump on that before this line is not available anywhere so once i once i get a backing i'll show you which one i picked okay next we are going to go over this one here this is the my favorite color is moda sampler by moda they designed this sampler to feature their bella solids line here is what the quilt will look like when it's done. Obviously I'm not utilizing the Bella Solids line. I have made my own color palette of navies and creams and golds using all um, celestial themed fabrics. So we've got suns and moons and stars and similar prints. And I love this color combination. I've been saving this fabric up for a while. Most of it is ruby star, but there's other, there's other fabrics in there as well. So last time I showed it to you, I had this big quilt block done. This is the largest one in the in the quilt. It's 36 by 36. It's basically a quilt in and of itself. And I had 
this one done, this courthouse steps block. And I did this one this last month. It is another courthouse steps block, but it's a different layout in that it's kind of more of a gradient and it goes from the center square out to a darker fabric, whereas this one was divided um, by lights and then darks on the sides. So that's that one. I love the way this looks. So this block actually fits. I've done this block and I've done this block. This block is goes right down here. So I had been working my way through the pattern just in order of the way it has the page, like the blocks printed on the pages, but I'm going to switch that up because as you can see here, the way you piece it together is in these sections. And so I'm going to make sure I complete one section at a time instead of jumping around from all the different blocks. Cause they're not, the way they're printed in the book is not grouped by section. Like it's largest to smallest basically. Um, so because this block is down here, now it's just got to kind of hang out until I get that section done. So instead I'm going to finish this one this section and then go on to another section in the future. I hope that made sense. I kind of jumbled my words there. <laughs> but that way I can have sections pieced together and ready to go instead of just a bunch of loose blocks that I have to lay out at the end and like figure out where they go. It would be, it's easier for me to make color choices for the layouts when I can see what the block is next to so that I can have a good color distribution and composition instead of just jumping around that way. So like I said, um, I'm next month, I have maybe a little, or this month, cause we are in February now. I have a little bit of time at the end of the month to work on it. We'll see how much I get done on this. I know I want to do at least one more block, but we'll see what I managed to produce. The last project that I worked on this last month is this one here. This is called the Christmas Potpourri Sampler, but obviously we do not call it the Christmas Potpourri Sampler. If you're new here, this is called the Acid Trip Sampler, which we've all lovingly dubbed because of the craziness that's going on in between, <laughs> in between the borders there. So it's obviously not Christmas fabric as it, it was originally designed. It is all neons and brights and wild prints, lots of Tula, lots of ruby star wild fun stuff so this is the top half the top six blocks that i had finished previously and then in the last month i did block number seven which is this block right here so let me show you that so here is block number seven and this is why i won't have all these quilts on the design wall next time because they obviously no longer fit <laughs> Block number seven. So I've got lots of little tulas featured there in the center of those square within a square blocks. I've got a little rainbow of the, the long stripe blocks there. And then there is tons of little elements to kind of spy with your little eye. We've got my rainbow. We've got Alice doing her craziness over here. This one's a tula with a little hedgehog. This is a Tula, so many Tulas in this one. We got the little kitty down at the bottom and the heart and the teacup and the hippo and the hand and the mushroom. <laughs> Lots of fun stuff to look at in this block. This one's fun. This is a fun block. I love all the little featured squares there on the side. So let me show you how it hangs in the quilt. So this goes right here. You'll just kind of have to delete the other quilt with your mind but yeah it's growing it's growing and it's so vibrant so bright i love looking at it because even though obviously i chose all the fabrics and i've seen them all up close and personal as i'm putting it together i still feel like i find new things whenever i look at it like it, my eye is drawn to different places whenever i just kind of stare at my wall <laughs> so that was that block it was this is such a fun quilt to make obviously i'm firmly rooted on the the sampler sampler train right now with this guy and this guy i think samplers are an easy way to impress your non-quilty friends because it looks like you did a lot of hard work but it was just like 
a bunch of simple blocks. <laughs> it's deceptive. So let's look at the next block. This next one is gonna be right in here, right in the middle here. So right below this star, it's got this star and then this like leaf print right there. And yeah, we're just gonna keep plugging away. I'll try to do at least one more block. Again, if I do more, I do more. That would, that would be cool, but I'm not gonna hold myself to that. <laughs> just one is what we're aiming for. Okay, before, that was that was all my whips that I worked on this last month. Uh, so I got block done, block done, four blocks done, and I finished a quilt top. I mean, that felt, that felt good. I worked on four quilts, so. And started designing another one, uh, which I'll share with you in a bit. So before we get to giveaway winners, I just wanna share a little bit of kindness that I received this last month. I have a friend, Carla, from Carla Being Crafty. I will tag her channel down below. She's a floss tuber primarily, but she also crochets and does a couple, like she does some paper crafting and stuff too. Um, she had original, had good intentions of making project bags with some fabric and then ended up not doing that. And then she reached out to me and asked me if she could give me that fabric because she wasn't gonna utilize it. And I thought that was incredibly nice of her. So I'm gonna share with you the, the fabric that she gave me. So she sent me this sizable chunk of of fabrics which is so nice some of them have uh like fusible fleece on them because they were originally intended to be project bags but that's i can either continue and make those into project bags or i can take the fleece off and just use it as fabric um we'll see when i get there so she just gave me these cute little like fat quarters of Fun prints. Look at that pineapple one. Isn't that cute? That's cute. And then look, this one's got cocktails on it. And then we've got little Harry Potter glasses. That's cute. And those are metallic on that black. And this fun speckled dot. Little rainbow paw prints. This one's so cute. We both have black cats, so anything with black cats on them, we just love. It's a cute little Halloween print. Roses. These are olives, <laughs> which I think were meant to go with that cocktail print. Another cute little cat print. And then stars. There's these fat quarters that kind of coordinate and of course are also metallic. There's two of each of those. And then the rest of these were all kind of designated as project bags, but you can see the sort of combinations there. This cherries and the polka dots is really cute, very pinup. And then the red polka dot and then these little kitty cats. So thank you so much, Carla. That was such a kind gift. I appreciate uh, that you thought of me whenever you decided to um, pass those along to somebody. I will make great use of them. And I'm, I'm super grateful. Thank you for thinking of me. Okay, let's do giveaways. I know you guys are waiting for it. After we do giveaways, I do have um, a quick little run through of my plans and then we'll sign off. So in order to win the quilts that I'm giving away, you had to insert a certain word in your comment. I used a random comment generator to pick the, the winner of each quilt. Um, if you are that winner, please reach out to me by email. I have my email uh, listed in the description box down below. Just shoot me a quick email and say, hey, I won this quilt and here's my mailing address. And then I'll get that shipped out to you. First, I'm gonna wash the quilts. So th let me do that and then I'll get them shipped out to you so that you can have them for your homes. Okay, so the first one that I am giving away is this quilt here. This is a pattern that I found on Pinterest for free. I don't know the name of it. It's just an easy jelly roll quilt that I added borders to. So it's actually now a lab quilt. And the word that you needed to enter to win this guy right here was batik because I use these lovely batiks, all metallic. 
And the winner of this quilt is this person here, Donna Barker. So congratulations, Donna, you have won the Batik quilt. If you would be so kind as to reach out to me in my email account, I will get back to you as soon as I get your email and let you know uh, when this is in the mail for you and headed your way. The next quilt that I'm giving away is this quilt here. This is a quilt pattern called Meadowland and I put it together using the line Cider by Basic Gray. So the word that you needed to enter to win was Cider. The winner of this quilt here is this person. This is Natalie McCauley. Congratulations, Natalie. You have won the Cider quilt, the Basic Gray Cider quilt. And so if you will also reach out to me in my email and let me know what your mailing address is and that you won the Cider quilt, I will get this sent out to you. And the last quilt that I am giving away is this one here. This is a pattern that I got from an old quilty magazine. I believe the pattern is called Summer of Love. I think so. <laughs> I wanted you guys to enter the word summer in your comments to win this, this quilt here. And it is ready to go. The winner of this quilt is Yolanda Williams. So congratulations, Yolanda. You have won my summer quilt. And if you also will reach out to me in my email, let me know your mailing address and then I will get this sent to you in the mail. So thank you all so, so much for participating in the giveaway. If you did not win, I apologize. I want all of you to win. I will of course have other giveaways in the future, including um, some digital ones and electronic ones for like gift cards and stuff uh, so that I can include any international viewers. But uh, thank you regardless to everyone who expressed an interest in owning something that I've created. That, that makes me feel good. Uh, so to my winners, I hope that you enjoy the quilt that I've made, that I've made. I hope that it gives you lots of warmth and cuddly time, and I hope you are inspired to do some of your own quilting. Okay, so real quick before we, we sign off, um, I do have, we've already gone over the plans to, to continue with all these quilts, but I do have a, a plan to start a baby quilt. I have a friend who is expecting at the end of March, so I need to get started on this baby quilt for her little girl. So I am adapting this quilt. This is Lepidoptera by Elizabeth Hartman. And I have made a baby quilt from this pattern before, which was this version. And I'll insert a picture of what that looked like. I made that for another friend for her baby, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time. I'm actually going to be adapting this block here into into let me see i just did a rough sketch here into a smaller collection of four so it's going to be four of that same block just in different colors and they're a little bit staggered here but i'm in a bit of a pickle because i need to decide that quilt that i've sketched out has four butterflies but i have five colorways and i can't decide which one to boot so her nursery is going to be very pastels like she showed me the inspiration picture. It's like light peaches and sage greens and creams. So, so let me just show you the, the colorways that I have. Each uh, butterfly needs six prints in it. So we have like a light, light brown color from light to dark. It's almost like a cream at the bottom and then it goes to just a tan as the dark. And then we have the light peachy pinks. Here's the light and then there's the dark. Very subtle like color gradation, but still a light and a dark value. And then here is the greens that I've picked from light to dark. So those three I'm certain on. I know for sure I want the light brown, the pink, and the green because those were in the color inspiration photo that she showed me. However, I can't decide between these next two. So I'll show you my options. The first one is a gray, like a warm gray. And the next option is purple. So I picked purple because that's her favorite color as well as mine. But my hang up is this. The purple is actually quite vibrant, at least in person. Um, 
and I can't decide if it's too vibrant for the quilt that I want to make. And then the grays, they look nice, but you know, they're gray. So let me show you what they all look like together and then you guys can help me decide. Okay, so there's the colors I know for sure. And then here's the gray, grays in addition, which looks nice, but like I said, they're gray. And then here's the purple. So, I mean, I like the purple, of course, purple's my favorite color, but I can't decide if that's too, like, if this is too left of center, you know what I mean? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna start with the other three butterflies because I know for sure I need to make those. And then you guys can let me know if you like the purple or the grays better. And then here's my, so I needed a white accent and a dark accent in the fabric, or I'm sorry, in the pattern, it's black, but I don't wanna use black. So I have this gray as the, the dark. Because in the butterflies, they need these little white dots, which is that white and cream one I showed you. And then the bodies and the little antennas are gonna be that, that other gray. I don't wanna use actually black because that's too stark for a baby quilt I think so I did also have to do a little bit of purchasing um I needed a background fabric to complement the those because I didn't have enough yardage in something that was that would have worked in that quilt and then I also went ahead and purchased the backing as well so let me show you what I got I got this sorry for the crinkles I got this kind of creamy gray color it's almost taupey with this very subtle white dot. That's gonna be my background between all the butterflies. So here's what that looks like. So it's light enough that it won't blend in with the tan colors and um, it's warm enough that it won't necessarily blend in with the grays. So that's what I, that's what I chose. And then the backing is this lovely rose print with the very subtle like peachy pinks and greens that complement the the colors that I'm using on the front so and because this is a baby quilt and it's small I will be quilting it myself I'm just going to do simple straight line quilting and I will show you that as I do it but this little baby quilt for um my friend is on the to-do list for next month as well that's part of my plans is to continue with these but also get hustling on this baby quilt because she's coming but that's it that is my update for you guys today um thank you so much for being patient for the video to get uploaded you guys know i kind of drag my feet at the end of the month it's not that i don't want to film of course i love filming and showing uh my progress and my passion with you guys but editing is such a pain in the butt and if I didn't, I know there's people out there that just film and then post, And but if I didn't edit, there would be a lot of like ums and uhs and meows in the background and silence that where I was just trying to figure out what the heck I wanted to say. So I do edit, obviously. Anyways, <laughs> let me know what you guys think about the color options for a baby quilt giveaway winners, reach out to me in my email and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I'm just going to get your quilts washed and then I will get them in the mail to you. And everyone else, thank you so much for sticking with me. I will see you guys again at the end of February and to give you my February update. So I wish you all a very crafty and quilty month. I hope February is good for you this year around. It's a leap year, so we have an extra day of February to do some extra crafting. That's what I like to think it's for. And I will catch up with you guys again in a month. You guys have a great day.